Hello folks, this is Lee Murphy from ArtByLeeMurphy.com and the creator of all the art and things on this particular channel. I decided I needed to make this video after I shot a time-lapse video of me putting this together and it about sprained my eyeballs to have a look at it so I figured I had to go into it with real time and share what it is and how it is I do this. I love fancy sketchbooks, obviously, and I love the way they look, and they can be really expensive, and as I was discussing with a friend of mine, uh, who was also an artist, uh, she got to talking about how she was always afraid to do anything with these fancy sketchbooks. Uh, she got too precious with it, and I'm like, you know, human hands made these things, and there's no reason why, I'm, as an artist, can't, I can't make these too, so... Put my little thinking cap on and checked out some YouTube videos, and this is what I came up with. Okay, this started out right here as something really no different than this. Just a simple, cheap, plain, hardbound sketchbook. Um, it's kind of fun, and I see people decorating all kinds, but I like something classic looking. Uh, something that looks like it came from some wonderful ancient library like this. So, what I ended up doing is taking this sketchbook. And you may have seen other videos where I do time-lapse versions of these sketches, watercolor sketches that I have in here. So, I ended up in learning how to make my own marble paper. This is what I carved out of a plain old 8.5 by 11 uh, piece of cardstock. And I taught myself how to marble it using just these plain squeeze bottle paints from the cheapy store and float the float these paints on top of a pan full of regular laundry starch and voila. So it makes it a little bit easier to play with it when I know that they're, they're that easy to do. Uh, and it's no big deal if I mess up because really fancy old-fashioned marble paper when you can find it is like super expensive. So I also learned that book binding cloth which ordinarily you would see on things like this, uh, can also be very expensive and the selection is very limited and it's not real, they're not really user friendly. So what I ended up learned, teaching myself how to do, once again, is taking the same squeeze bottle paints and a piece of plain old scrap fabric. This is like off an old bed sheet or something. Painted it on there, let it dry, and it makes very forgiving, very creative. This was black paint, and then I used some little green sparkle to coordinate it with the cloth. Uh, paint on there, let it dry, and then just cut these out. This is bound all the way around, wrapped around. First, I put this on. If you can actually tell right watching the, the time-lapse video, you can see the sequence in which I do it. Uh, then, I love the fancy book clasps and things, like. Well, this what this is just a piece of random piece of jewelry that I scavenged. Here's the rest of it right here. Thought it looked a little bit like a marble, so I just made it do as a book clasp because real book clasps, when you can find them, are like ridiculously expensive as well. And even pairs of earrings work really well. But I have another loop to put on here, and I wait until I'm finished all the way drawing everything in here because as the media saturates the paper, it's going to expand a little bit. I want to make sure it doesn't pinch it too hard, so I'll put the loop on here when I find out just how wide this book is going to be. So, obviously you can see this. And then, because there was no frontispiece page like that, I ended up taking some lace paper I got from Art Supply Craft House and made a cover sheet right here. I kind of fancied up a little bit, and ordinarily it would cover the rough edges of the book itself, or the book covering itself, but I was just being lazy and I just wanted to get this done. And then this, the book plate, is simply a piece of scratch board, silver scratch board, that I you know, came up with a neat little idea for customizing it and glued it in there. And in the back, there is the same thing. To make it look a little bit fancier. Um, like you would see in a fine, fine bound book. Um, that is a way, basically, to have yourself a fancy, schmancy sketchbook journal, customized. And I like the swirls, the way it kind of went with the subject of the marbles. And 
these are the ones that you see some of these in time-lapse videos in other uh, videos on my channel. So have a look, and thank you for watching. I hope this helps.